Lace is just getting that perfect shape up, that perfect style. I'm going to tell you about a Lace haircut, man. Hold on. When you see the waves and stuff like that, you know what it is. You could get seasick up in these. These are tiger waves. These are not just regular waves. You got to be laced, whether it's, it's your outfit or your haircut. When you ask your barber, to, you know, I need to get laced, they know already. If you give a nice, sharp line with, with these trimmers, oh boy, the people are so happy. You got to get a fresh line with the razor. If you're not getting the razor, you're cheating yourself. You have the best barbers in Brooklyn. Ain't nothing like cutting in Brooklyn. I never cut nowhere else. Just. Brooklyn. My Chicagoans may hate me for this, but I really don't care. Like, Brooklyn is the place to be. The hood barbershops, it's the, the old school barbershops, the mafioso barbershops. There's a barbershop on almost every block in Brooklyn. Beverly and Flatbush. Fulton Street between Buffalo and Ralph. You got another location on Church and Rogers. And I said, that's going to be my barbershop. And I guarantee you, in five more years, I'll have a couple more businesses on that block. No Snap Avenue between Halls and Hancock. And I just want to tell all the shop owners and the brothers, there's more to barber shop than just haircuts and CDs and big butt girls. Yo, talk to me about the hustle man, yo. <laughs> hustle man, well, the hustle man. You know, if, if you ain't got hustle man coming through your shop, then you ain't got a good shop. When you say the hustle man, you mean the mean? dude that comes in here? Yo, I got everything. DVDs. They selling everything uh, from A to Z. Gentlemen, 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 guys, guys. Movie man is here. Movie hustle guys. man, we got what you need. And my name is Hustle Man, aka Coke Smoke, aka. Paper Chaser. I go to all the barber shops from here, from Notion Ave all the way down to Broadway, man. I'm, I'm worldwide out here, man. I sell DVDs, CDs, you know what I mean? I sell kids' clothes, women clothes, man, clothes. Why the barber shops? Because barber shops are the funniest place to be, you know what I mean? That's where all the laughter at. It's like Ricky Lake, it's like Sally Jesse up in here. We were just sitting in the back and he just started like telling me about his life and telling me how he was a um, hermaphrodite. Politics. Sports, what happens with um, Terrell Owens, um, you got what goes on in the streets, who got locked up, what girl is shaking her ass at the club last night, um, what, what stripper we seen, music. The boy Johnny Famous, the best, take a picture, my flow hot. Frame this shit, flow so wild, I can't tame this shit. I, I, I started on the old warts, the one that's just a good joint. I ain't even have no tremors. Yo, I mean, I, I'm in back, man. I started, in the early 80s, man. The kids tell you what they want to do the kids tell you what they want to do the kids. That's the chronic, like they had to laugh. This nigga is the original barber. I think I shot maybe three or four frames. You know, it wasn't like I looked at it and said, it's going to be the biggest thing. But as time's gone on, I mean, it is a pretty cool shot. I, I kind of like it a lot. I mean, Kane certainly is a great artist. Uh, you know, Scoob looks really cool. Look at how high that hair is in there, man. You know? We did it like that. Now we do it like this. Go inside your mind and find the time that you miss. And just think about the steel in your fist. Yeah, it's just that extension in your arm. It's that ghetto type of charm that makes all the homeboys swarm. Can I drop the ball? Oh, yes, I can.